Hey folks, I got a lot of questions after my other 3D scanner videos about uh, could I use this scanner to scan a car or a motorcycle or an engine or a tree? And for most of those scanners, my answer was not really. Um, they're mostly designed for scanning, you know, small to medium sized objects. But Revopoint has sent me their latest scanner, the Range, and it is specifically designed for large objects. So uh, we're gonna give this a try. Now what's really cool about this, and um, what I hope to test out in the future, is that this scanner is meant to scan whole people. And um, I think that's really exciting for anybody who's doing a costume or a suit, um, armor, creatures, what have you. Uh, because you could scan a whole person, put them into ZBrush or Blender, and build your suit right on them, 3D print it, go from there. When they sent the scanner, uh, I was expecting a box that would fit that. I was not expecting a box to come about this big because they also sent this enormous turntable which is designed for a person to be able to stand on top of while you scan them, which is a great feature because that means that rather than having to walk around somebody, getting all top and bottom sides up and down, um, they can stand in place and you with your scanner can stay put and you're just worried about, you know, getting your sort of vertical changes and you can keep your computer right there and keep an eye on it while you're scanning. I, I think it's great and I'm actually gonna use it today even though I'm not scanning a person, I'm scanning a large sculpture um, and I will do it on the turntable because I think it's just a great thing to have. I'm also definitely gonna use this just for uh, taking video of things that I make spinning slowly in front of camera because that's pretty cool. Um, the turntable also comes with a remote so that you can change the speed and also just have it do partial rotations with a pause in between, which could be really handy. Now, the thing that I'm going to be scanning is a paper mache sculpture that I did a few years ago. This guy was made with my typical zombie process. Um, it's a plastic skeleton that I got on clearance uh, covered in paper towels that I soaked in house paint. So you get the base color and the structure right there and then painted like that. And I do have a couple of videos showing my process for that if you wanna make your own. So I thought it would be fun to make a miniature version of this guy. And so I'm going to scan him with the range. Now I have to apologize that this video is not as in-depth or thorough or uh, having as interesting of a project as some of my other scanner demos. And um, the reason is that this is actually not the first range that Revelpoint sent me. Uh, this is a replacement unit. The first one that I had uh, just stopped working uh, all of a sudden and um, it would kind of get stuck in a boot up cycle. And so I contacted them, they immediately sent out a new one to me um, and had me send back the old one so that their engineers can really dive into figuring out what went wrong. And so as a result, I've got a lot less time to finish this video while their Kickstarter is still going. And I say this in the interest of full disclosure about the process of getting to this point, but I also don't have any reason to think that they won't get that problem figured out. Um, I would be surprised if there was anything like that on the production units because I have been using the other Revopoint scanners, the Pop and especially the Mini quite a bit in both my personal and professional projects in the last um, year or so. And um, I, they really haven't given me any problems like this. So I think it was probably a fluke. It was probably something that they will get solved. But that's what happened. I think that there are still some very exciting things to talk about here. Not the least of which is the update to the Revopoint software. I was given access to a beta version of the Revoscan version 5. And um, it's very exciting because I think it, um, even though it's still 
is in the process of getting the bugs worked out, it really brings up the RevoPoint software much closer to the level of some very professional scanning software. So we'll talk about that. And this is the scanning process. I've got the scanner connected and the software loaded up, the zombie on the turntable, and I'm ready to go. So I hit preview. And from there, I can start to get an idea of how this is going to go. Um, I'm adjusting the exposure on the depth camera. And then you can see that uh, bar on the side um, with the sort of changing lines. When it's green, it means that everything is kind of in the correct distance from the scanner. And as it starts to get too near or too far, it changes to orange and red, which is uh, a nice uh, change to the software from the old one. And you can see that um, I'm just standing in place and moving the scanner up and down as needed to try to capture all of the missing areas. It's almost like playing a weird little video game. And right around here is where I notice that it starts to get a little off track and it's sort of growing a second head. Um, that actually ends up not being a problem. When you go to fuse the point cloud, it often is able to resolve some of those. So I go into the edit mode and I'm just going to apply the point cloud fusion just with the default settings and go ahead and take everything at the default settings just um, because this is actually pretty much my first time actually doing a complete scan with the new software. So I'm just trusting the defaults and seeing where it takes us. Now, what's exciting here is that anytime that you want to go back and change the results that you got, you can just go back a few steps and change the sliders, reapply, and it hasn't actually baked anything permanently. You can keep going back and making adjustments until you're happy with what you get. And so when I go ahead and mesh that, the result I think is not as good as it could be. So I went back in after that to try to get some more detail and I fussed around with a lot of the other settings and got my point distance much smaller. And that turned out something with a lot more detail, um, a little bit of noise in it, but I think that with some more attention and some more experimentation in the settings that could be corrected. They've also got all these great little clipping and selection tools built in. Uh, I think these were part of Revo Studio, but everything seems to work a little bit better now, especially being all tied together in one program. And when I brought it into ZBrush to get a better look, this is what I had. Um, I did very little cleanup work on this. I basically sharpened the separations between the teeth and I cleaned up some of the eyelid area and applied a contrast filter over everything to sharpen up the details that way. And then I just replaced the eyes with actual spheres to get a cleaner look that way. And again, I think that this end result is a little noisy. It's not gonna be a problem for me for printing it out at a small scale because that's just gonna pretty much disappear. Um, and I know that I've seen other people have gotten cleaner results out of their ranges. So I know that it's possible to do better, but um, for what I'm actually doing here, this is gonna be fine. And I did print out my little zombie. I think there was probably some errors in my file. I really, again, rushed to get this all together. So one of his arms kind of came detached. Um, but it's really great to be able to scan a large object and make it smaller because even though 3D scanning will reduce some of the actual detail that your original piece had, when you shrink it down, it sort of maximizes the, um, the detail that you're getting. It ends up being much clearer than you might have been able to create if you were actually sculpting it at this scale. So the new RevoScan version 5, I think, is great. It's uh, obviously not there yet. Even the day that I downloaded it, they told me that there was a number of things that they were already going to be changing in it based on feedback that they've gotten. But really, having everything all in one place and being able to undo and try things out without risking your project um, 
just gives you the confidence to explore those features and see what each thing does and how you can perfect your scans. It really makes the software much more on par with other 3D scanning software. So I think that's very exciting and I'm really looking forward to seeing the actual public release of that. And uh, I'm sure that a lot of it is going to be smoothed out and improved. So my thoughts on the range. Um, the detail level is definitely not as fine as something that I could get with the Mini. Um, but it's a completely different use case because with the Mini, you're scanning something that's maybe that big. Um, I've done full heads with it, but it can be a slow process. The range, I mean, I think that the zombie torso that I scanned is the smallest thing that you would need this for. I think that this could easily be used for a full car-sized object, um, especially if you put the software into body mode where it enlarges the field of view. I think it's uh, really handy for that sort of thing. So if your main interest in a 3D scanner is scanning big things, then this would definitely be something to take a look at. Um, now that RevelPoint has done four different scanners, um, you know, I think that despite the hiccup that I had in this, I think that the company is pretty reliable and they're definitely focused on improving and taking customer feedback and making the best product that they can. So I think that it could be a really good tool to have in the toolbox and I'm certainly glad to have it around. I look forward to trying out some new projects with it. Now, speaking of projects, I do have some very exciting things coming up. I can promise you they're not all 3D scanning related, but fans of my animatronic Raven kit will, I think, be very interested in seeing what's coming up soon. So stay tuned. I do want to thank RevoPoint for sending me another one of their scanners. I really appreciate doing these videos and trying out this new tech. Um, I think it's really fun and I hope that you do too.